Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations. Uh, shoot, just shooting a real quick video to give you an idea of how to get this thing set up so that uh, you're good to go right out of the box. Uh, this is brand new plexiglass. It still has the, the protective uh, film on it, so you're going to want to take that off, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> I've got it mounted into a cabinet, uh, not the cabinet that you gave me that was warped, but this is a cabinet from a different machine. I was able to modify it. Um, it is only held in place by a magnet latch on right here. And there's a, a metal plate here. So this is what keeps it in the frame. Uh, what you're going to do, and I'll, I'll show you the way I have mine mounted. You're going to build a frame for this and then screw this, screw through your frame into this frame. And then once it's screwed in, then you'll just be able to grab here or whatever. And it'll just swing out and you can, you can access it. So um, machines, that, that's obviously the front machine. Right there is, is the light for ball out. There are no balls in the machine at the moment. So let me spin this thing around and I'll show you how to set it up. I have this powered with uh, 12 volt bulbs. Uh, actually they're LEDs. They run off of a, a 12 volt, you just plug this into the wall. Okay, so up here is your, your little LED for your ball out, and it's controlled by this switch. Now, this mechanism, all being metal, was heavily rusted. Um, I did my best to get the rust off and make this, this mechanism work properly. It's still stiff. It will get better as you use the machine. But when it's, when it's up like this, it's because there's no weight on this. It takes the little stop off the switch, turns the light on. When there's weight in here from the balls, it, this will come down and it will sit on the switch and turn the light off. All right, so again, it's, it's a little bit sticky. With use, it should loosen up. So, a couple of things. Over here is a... A piece that moves back and forth and I've got a, a black magic marker here and I don't know if it'll show on the video but but in here you can actually see red so you want to make sure this piece is that way when you go to uh, put balls in the machine what that does is it lets the balls run around go over this piece into the jackpot chamber when you pull back on it it allows the balls to fall out through here and exit the machine if you wanted to clean the, the machine out for some reason, okay? So just make sure this is over. I don't think in shipping it would have moved anyway. The other thing you need to be aware of is there's a little uh, push thing here, and this resets what's called the seesaw chamber. In here is your seesaw. Uh, exaggerated, it sits at this angle. When a, ball, a winning ball enters, it, the weight of the ball tips it, and then it'll reset. So you want to make sure it starts in this position, and to get it in that position, you just, you just push up on that little tab, and it'll put it in the right position. So this and this are two things you want to check before you put pachinko balls in. You will need something like, like this is just a Tupperware thing that's going to be down here uh, to catch the balls as they exit the machine. So the bulk of the pachinko balls that you have are going to go in the upper hopper. So if I get this set like this, your lights on. And, and it's it's still pretty stiff, so it's just just a matter of working it a little bit, and then it'll it'll lay on that switch, turn the light off, you've got plenty of balls. Uh, if you start to run out of balls, this should lift up enough to turn your light on, okay? Again, with, with use, it'll, it'll loosen up. All right, so now your machine is, is loaded and ready to go. So we'll turn it back around here. <clears throat> I'll show it to you in action. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the remainder of the balls you have in your... In your top tray. 
they're going to go down and, and feed into the the uh, launch shooter. Now it's going to be a little tough because I don't want to take the, the cover off, but you, you can see a ball launch. I can get one to pay out for you. There we go. So that's the payout. There's three LED lights in, in the center attraction that will light when you do get a payout. So that's the functionality of the machine. Uh, if you want to empty the balls out of the machine, you, you pull back on this. It'll take the balls from here to here, and then you'd be able to take them out of here, open the door, and just drop them into your upper hopper to keep the supply moving so you never completely would run out of balls and chances are this this light will never come on unless you let it run out of balls okay all right now what I'm going to do real quick here bear with me is I'm going to take you out hello I'm going to take you out and I got to reverse the camera I guess maybe come on come on camera reverse here why can I not well, maybe I'll have to turn it. Okay, all right. That's okay. We can come in like this. Okay, so this is this is my machine. I, I apologize for the bad camera angle because I'm working backwards. But that's my machine in a cabinet. So this is the outer cabinet. Okay, and <clears throat> this is this is the the front of your machine, and what you don't see. Is is the frame that I put your machine in? That's that's not visible when it's when it's hanging on the wall. So bear with me here. Don't fall over. It's going to. It wants to. All right, come on. There. Okay. So when properly mounted, this will swing right open like this. So here's. Here's the frame that I that I took from another machine, in your case. So so we've got the hinging ability. Your machine didn't have the, the hinges in the corners. So once you have this, this outer cabinet made, uh, this is what's called a cleat hanger. So this is a, essentially it's a, a board about so high and about you know that thick, and it gets cut at a <laughs> this is hard to do at a 45 degree angle. So there's a 45 degree angle uh, cut right through the center of the board. So one half of it gets screwed to the wall hoping to catch a stud or maybe two. And then the other half of the board gets actually screwed to this. And then once you've done that, then the, this cabinet just sits on to this so that these two boards now line up. And that's, that's all the support you need. Um, if you feel a little more comfortable, you could always do another cleat through here to give you the double hang. I've only got one, and this is a very heavy machine. Um, so you have to be aware of the fact that on this side of your machine, it's hard to see. I, well, there we go. Not exactly like this, but there is a mechanism that you would lift up on, and that will open your front door if you ever needed to. All I did is I, I took a wire and I attached the wire to it, ran it up, drilled a little hole in the cabinet, and then up on top I've, I've got a, a little dowel rod I can grab and lift up. So this would lift up on this and let me open the front door. Now with your machine, um, because it's, it's a magnetic catch, you don't have to worry about having any access like I do on the side. I have to have a, there's actually a hole cut in here that I can get my hand in here and release the catch that's on my frame before I can open this up. Uh, with yours, you won't have to worry about that. It, it'll be held in place by the magnet and then all you'll do is, is just grab it down here and it'll swing open. So you just need to be able to deal with uh, being able to open your glass if, if that's what you decide to do. Okay? And then obviously you've got to be able to have the uh, the power come out of the machine and and plug in somewhere okay so I hope that answers uh, any questions you have uh, it, obviously if you do have any questions do not hesitate to call me I'm, I'm certainly always available for uh, any help and I appreciate your business and I hope you enjoy that pachinko machine for a long time thanks